small and large. And so our player can either be in a large state or in a small state, right? So for the big Mario, then we're large, or for the small Mario, then we're then we're small. And let's go ahead and go back to our let's go to our player class here. And let's go ahead and start by updating this height. So let's actually start with a small animation um, height. So let's change this to 16 here. And let's go ahead and create a couple new instance variables for animation. So let's go ahead and do a private player state state. So this would be I'm just going to save this. So this would be the player state that we just created. And let's do a private animation player walk L player walk S. So this would be the animation class that we just created. Let's do a private buffered image. And let's do cur sprite. And let's go ahead and do private animation, and this will be our current animation. And let's go ahead and do another um, instance variable, and let's name it, and let's go ahead and type in private boolean forward, and set that to false. And let's go ahead and go to our constructor now. And let's make a couple adjustments here. So let's go ahead and do player walk L is equal to a new animation. And let's go ahead and type in five because we have we're gonna have five images in our animation. Let's go ahead and do sprite L one, sprite L two, sprite L three and sorry wait um oh right so this is not actually the number of images this is the speed right so this is the speed so we're gonna have a speed of five and then this is the images that we're gonna pass in so we're gonna have three images and let's go ahead and do player walk s and this is new animation and let's go ahead and do a speed of five and do sprite s this time for small. And let's pass in one, sprite s, and two, sprite s, three. And just to remind you, um, so looking at this image, we want to take these three images here for a walk animation. And we want to take these. Remember, it's zero indexed. So this is zero, and this is one, two, three. So we take these three. So that's that. And here we're going to do state is equal to player state dot small. So we're going to start with setting our player state to to the small Mario, and then we're going to do current sprite is equal to sprite s. So our current sprite is going to be the small, um, the small set of sprites, and we're going to do current or current animation is equal to player walk s because our current animation is going to be this player walk s. Okay, so that's going to be it for our constructor class. Now let's go ahead and go down here. And in our tick method, let's go ahead and call that run animation function that we created. So remember going back here, that's this. So basically to, oh, sorry, that's this. To basically run through, update our index, and then call next frame when our speed gets met. So let's go ahead and call that. So for our current animation, let's go ahead and run animation. 
And so that'll, that'll go and call that. Um, and the next thing we want to do is we want to make some updates to our render function. So this was just temporary code. Um, but now we're going to go ahead and write code for our animation here. So we want to have a different animation when we jump. Um, or we want to change the image when we jump. We want to have a certain image when we're standing still. And we want to have an animation when we're walking. And we want to change the animation when we walk in the rightward direction versus when we walk in the leftward direction. And so we're going to go ahead and implement that here. Let's do if jumped, right? So if we're jumping, then we want to first check if we're going forward or not. So let's do check if we're forward. And if we're going forward, then we want to do something. Otherwise, we want to do something else. And that something else is drawing the image um, in the opposite direction. Otherwise, if our velocity x is greater than 0, meaning that we're going in the rightward direction, then we want to draw the image or draw the animation in the rightward direction. Otherwise, if our get velocity x is less than 0, or we're going leftward, then we want to draw the animation going left. Otherwise, we're going to be standing still, and so we want to draw an image of us just drawing still. And let's go ahead and fill this in now. So if we're going forward and we're jumping, then let's do get draw. And in here, uh, draw image. And in here, let's go ahead and do our current sprite five. And let's do an int and get x. Int get y. Int get width. Int get height and as you know and so this is going to draw our fifth sprite which is going to be zero one two three four five so this jumping image right here if we're going forward and jumping and let's go ahead and copy this here but we want to do a little bit of math here to make us point in the leftward direction. So the first thing we want to do is set a negative width here. And then after that, we want to go ahead and add here a get width. And so if I pull up paint, you can sort of see what's going on here. So we have our image like this. And we're going to instead move our this starting position over by width. So now the starting position is going to be over here. And our width is going to be negative, so it's basically going to allow us to go like this. Um, this is less of a logic thing and more of a, a way this draw image is specified, but this will allow us to flip our image the other way. And let's go ahead and now fill in this one. So this is going to be an animation. So we're going to do cur animation dot draw animation. And remember, this is the function that we specified um, in our animation function. And this is going to let us draw our animation. 
And so let's go ahead and draw it. So let's pass in our graphics G and let's do um, int and let's do um, get x and int get y and int get width and int get height and then after that let's go ahead and set this to true because now we're moving in the forward direction and let's go ahead and copy this over to this next one but instead let's change our forward to be false and then let's go ahead and do that same trick that we did up here to reverse things so let's set get width to negative and then let's go here and add it by get width. And lastly, if we're standing still, we want to do g dot draw image. And let's go ahead and do curve sprite zero int get x int get y int get width int get height and null and remember this zeroth image right here corresponds to this image which is a sting still And now let's go ahead and um, let's see. Let's go ahead and give this um, a quick run now, and let's see if this runs properly. So yeah, you can see we have animation when we walk leftward, when we walk to the right, when we jump. So we jump to the right, we jump to the left, and yeah, that looks pretty good now. So now it's sort of looking a little bit more like Mario. Yeah. So, I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you all liked it. Um, I hope you all learned a lot from it. And I hope you are all able to get to this state successfully. If you have any bugs or any issues, please don't hesitate to add those to the comment section and I will be sure to answer those for you all. Um, please remember, you know, if you found this video interesting or helpful uh, or not, um, please like and um, subscribe uh, for, for more content like this. And with that, um, that's the end of this video and I'll see you all next time. See ya.